Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I'm gonna to give you a glimpse inside something that is not my work. I wanna be very clear about that, but I did not do this project. However, as you can see, this is my backyard or the gate leading to my backyard. And if you've seen on Instagram and some of my latest YouTube videos, we are doing more outdoor projects. So what I'm about to show you is how to properly install a paper patio. Uh, it's around 1200 square feet and it's pretty amazing how this worked. Four gentlemen came in and within seven hours laid 1200 square feet of pavers the right way and I got to go ahead to go ahead and film the whole process so I think any knowledge is power in terms of making things even though I didn't do this I'm gonna show you guys how we did it or how they did it if you will so let's get it done alright just like that guys the project is underway alright step number one paver base. We got this delivery. They're going to dump this out here on the driveway. A paver base is essentially reclaimed concrete that's been crushed and pulverized mixed with a little bit of brand new concrete and it's going to go down as the underlayment. As you can see here, this space has seen better days and these pavers are going to have a welcome home right here. These gentlemen are going to start grading the property with essentially just shovels taking out the first layer of weeds and grass and they got this done in about 10 minutes, believe it or not. Well, there's no turning back now. Here we go. And a few swings with a sledgehammer to break down this little piece of concrete and we are good to go. Alright, like I said, step by step, here we go. Paper base is being delivered down to the ground. You're going to see it's about 3 to 4 inches thick. And they're going to scrape it down and grade it with a landscape rake just like this. A quick side note, this is not easy work guys. They make it look so easy. If you've ever had any work done like this, the process goes so quickly and so effortlessly, but it is not easy at all. So my hat's off to you gentlemen. Thank you so much for working so hard and y'all did a great job. Okay, now with all the paver base installed, it's time to do one final grading before we compress it into the ground. This is a landscape rake and honestly, there is a subtle nuance to this. There's kind of an art form to this. They're grading the paver base with a one inch for every 10 feet slope away from the house and into the heaviest part of the yard. And you can't even tell this by eye, but they did a great job. And during the last rainstorm, I did notice that the drainage was absolutely perfect. Now, after a quick spritz, it's time to compact the paper base into the ground. This compactor, it's about a 14 inch wide compactor, is doing quick work of this job. You can do this by hand, but this machine makes it so much faster. 3000 PSI all the way to the ground and we are good to go to start measuring out. As you can see here, border pieces are put up against the house. A chalk line is snapped. They do the same thing on the other side of the house as well. And now with a four foot level, he's going to kind of scuff up the first half inch or so of the paper base, and here's why. When they start laying these down, as compact and as compressed as this paver base is, they need a little bit of wiggle room for these pavers to kind of nestle themselves in. And that's why they kind of loosen up the material just a little bit before installing. So as these pavers are being laid down, as I'm kind of watching them do this, I'm trying to realize what pattern are they using? Is there a pattern to these bricks? I see there's three different sizes, but I can't figure out exactly how they know what goes where. Finally, I asked one of the guys and he explained to me that there is no pattern. It's basically a chaotic pattern is more pleasing to the eye. I'll explain this in a minute, but it's pretty mesmerizing to watch this thing go down. All right, I'm gonna bring in the shop here just for a second to kind of explain this system of pavers. There are three different sizes. They're all six and a quarter inches wide. However, they're nine and a quarter inches long. I have a six and a quarter by six and a quarter and then a four and three quarter by six and a quarter. Now all those measurements, they all come together and they actually are really engineered this way. So a chaotic pattern is what you want when you're laying down pavers. You don't want a simple brick pattern or something that repeats itself. It's much more pleasing on the eye to have a very chaotic pattern throughout. But the cool thing is about these three measurements is that they will all essentially line up and I'll show you here, they'll line up together no matter how long of a track you run they all line up in a straight line, giving you a nice area to border, as you see here, one, two, three, as it goes down. So, a lot of engineering that goes into making these things, and I just wanted to bring you in here to explain that, and let's get back to it. So let me try to explain this visually. As they are laying these pavers to the very end of the patio, they are taking a few in, moving some out, and watch this, one, two, three, four, five, you see that straight line? Right there, hold on, look, straight line, right there. That line is gonna repeat itself all the way down the line, 100 feet down, no matter what, because these three measurements are gonna work out just like that. 
what an engineering feat this is. I didn't realize this was how they did these, but I guess it's commonplace knowledge if you do it every day. I just want to share that with you. Hopefully that explains it pretty well. And again, I'm just going to sit here and watch as they do their thing. If you look to the bottom left of the screen, you can see the six by nine pavers are oriented 90 degrees to the patio. These are used specifically for not just inside the actual paver patio, but they're gonna use these 90 degrees to make a border all the way around the whole entire thing. And look at that, essentially a third of the paver patio is completed and it's 9.30 in the morning. It's been about an hour and a half, I kid you not. This string here is laid down not only to give them a visual reference on how to lay these, but also to make sure that drainage is properly being done as well. Still got a little work to do at the edge of the house, trying to incorporate some of the plumbing pipes. However, it's coming together real nicely. And right now it's about 12.30, 1 o'clock. These guys have been working all day. And I gotta say, I'm thoroughly impressed. Essentially, these guys are artisans and they are doing a fantastic job. Now, putting a border on these pavers up to just grass is pretty easy, but when you got from structure to structure, you gotta make some cuts. So they snap the chalk line, they're gonna cut this with a concrete saw. That way the border up against my pump house, if you will, or my shed is exactly the same as all the way around. Now, with all the pavers completely laid in, they're gonna take away some of the material, if you will, and leave a little gap underneath. Why? Well, they're gonna mix up some concrete and they're gonna shove that in that gap just to give the edge of the paper patio some rigidity and some strength. And of course, you're gonna come back with a trowel and you're gonna make it nice and smooth as you see here. And then eventually you can just put some topsoil up against that and lay some sod. As you'll see in the end of the video, it looks pretty good. All right, and with that process done, they're gonna let that dry. They're gonna make their way to the plumbing area. And I tried to film this, but the dust was so heavy that my camera could not pick up the footage and it just wasn't even worth putting in. However, you can see the results. They cut around the pipes in various places and they did a great job with this as well. Okay, now for some of the final touches. They're gonna take some of this polymeric sand and they're gonna, gonna glaze it over the entire surface of the paper patio. At this point, they're gonna take that compactor again and they're gonna compress those pavers down into that paver base on top of the sand. So this paper patio is 1200 square feet, which is fairly large in size. And I kept thinking to myself, you know, I wanna do something in the backyard for our family to be able to hang out. And here's the real reason why. These kids now, if you remember how this looked earlier, these little kids are gonna have a wonderful area to go out and spend time. Hey buddy, <laughs> he's not quite ready to walk yet, but he'll be there soon. And the last step in the process is to flood the surface with the sand on it and to broom or brush the sand into all those nooks and crannies. And what you get is a paper patio that is sturdy, that will last for years and years, and quite frankly, is gonna improve our living space for the better for years to come. I really appreciate you joining us on this journey, guys. Again, thank you to the gentleman who did it. You guys rock. Well, guys, what do you think? <laughs> this is incredible. What do you think? You know, it's funny. You know, I'm getting older. I'm almost in my 40s now, and the footprint of this paver patio is actually bigger than my first house, garage included. And in fact, it's almost in the same exact layout. My garage was there. And I lived in a space that was smaller than this. It was 930 square feet. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this process. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like what we're doing here, we always invite you to subscribe to the channel. And of course, we've got more videos over here as well. So stick around with us. We greatly appreciate it. My name is Chris. This has been A Glimpse Inside, and we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy.